Great and blessed day to everyone and welcome to my subject, Introduction to Philosophy of Human Prison. I am your friendly learning buddy, Moises Prentice, and I will be the facilitator of learning for today. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the origin, meaning, and purpose of life. Enumerate the goals a person wants to achieve. You find the projects an individual intends to do in life and reflect on the meaning and purpose of his or her life. Before we proceed with our discussion, let us just have first the recap of our previous lesson. The process of learning your own culture is called enculturation. And it is vital in acquiring knowledge, skills, attitudes, and culture embedded in the society. The process of learning of other cultures is called acculturation. At this point, you have to identify if the statement is acculturation or enculturation. Write AC if the statement is acculturation. However, AC if the statement is enculturation. Number one, Jose learned to speak English when he visited his relatives in the USA. If your answer is AC, your answer is correct. Pedro uses po and opo when he speaks to elders because his parents explained that it is a sign of respect. Everyone will agree on this. The correct answer is EC. Number three, Lisa exercises every morning because of the influence of her mother. If AC is your answer, you are amazing. Number four, Anna dresses like a Western lady because she's imitating the celebrities in Hollywood. Excellent! The right answer is AC. And the last number, Mike is excited to celebrate the fiesta because he is waiting for the preparation of the Filipino delicacies, which is his favorite. That's right! EC is the correct answer. Great job! Thank you very much. Perhaps you have learned a lot from that discussion. So today, I know that you are ready for our lesson. But before that, let me leave you these big questions in your mind. How would you feel when a person close to you suddenly passed away? And what would you think about your own mortality during that time? And now, let us find out the answers in this lesson. Life is short and unpredictable. For many people, there is a purpose in living, and gradually, going through life allows one to discover his real purpose. Still, many people are unable to understand their lives and to make many out of it. At this point, guys, let us now listen to this meaningful and inspiring song of Jamie Rivera entitled, Sino Ako. After which, you may type in, in our group messenger, your reflection on this song. Oh, 
so much for those who participated. As we continue with our lesson, let's have the origin of life. There are two groups who believed about the origin of life. First is the evolutionist. This group believes that everything in the universe or cosmos, such as life, can be explained by the interaction of matter. The term evolutionist uses to denote the idea of evolution. Evolution happens over a successive generation, wherein there is a change in the heritable characteristics of a biological population. Charles Darwin, his theory of evolution through natural selection is considered as one of the popular theories from the perspective of one evolutionist. Currently, a group of scientists develops a more complex, valid, and organized theories on the origin of life. They initially believed in spontaneous generation, that living things can arise from non-living materials. For example, worms, flies, or even mice could develop from green, meat, or other materials. However, on the other hand, creationists believe that life came from a supreme being or a god. They use scriptures rather than scientific evidences as proof of their belief. An example of this would be the story of creation in the Bible. The significance of meaning of life. Some people nowadays often believe that life has no meaning or significance because it is either brought about by a god or developed by modern science. In both scenarios, life would be certainly meaningless if the person does not believe in a god or modern science. However, many theorists go against this belief by saying that life has meaning. Based on that theoretical concept of meaning, theorists and philosophers specify that life must be embedded in communication, understanding, and service. In such, the meaning of life becomes centralized in doing acts of integration, selflessness, and love. The meaning of life is incredibly significant because it is believed to balance the good and evil relationship as a collective defense against psychological problems like aggression and divisiveness. People who have found meaning in their lives therefore seem happier, more approachable, and more understanding than those who have not. The accomplishment of personal goals. Discovering the meaning of life constitutes the people to live life to its fullest. As such, they engage in various activities as much as possible, and they immerse themselves with what life has to offer. Research reveals that one out of five people are convicted that they are living their lives to the fullest, and that majority of all individuals who want to live life to its fullest are longing for excitement. That gives you the hint for this activity number two. All you need to do is just to list down a bucket list of your goals, dreams, and achievements that you want to attain before you die. Bucket list of goals in my life. Hi, my name is Ivy. This is me. I am a simple girl with many dreams and goals in my life. I am 18 years old now and one of my goals in this year is to graduate in senior high school so that I can continue to study in college. I will be taking the course of CPA or dermatologist and I hope that after four years or more of studying in college is all of my struggles and sacrifices will lead to success.
The first goal in my bucket list is after graduate after working for five months in a company as a car my own clinic as a dermatologist I want to start business of rice store so that even if I am working also my business will have an income every day so that may expenses in your house are willable to pay bills and etc after running my business rice store the next goal that I dream about is to have in house in lot this the kind of house that I dream of a very English style of house the furniture of it that will suit in my dream house and also have my own big garage with my favorite dream care like Ferrari Lamborghini sedan sports cars limousine van and etc this is the type of garage that I want to own and also the cars that I mentioned about the third list of my bucket list is that after I have in funds and enough money to purchase a franchise of McDuan Jollibee the fourth one is if I have a lot of money I want to donate every month in the charity for children and senior citizen who abandoned by their family. It is my pleasure to help people and it is overwhelming to my soul and heart. The fifth is I want to travel all over the world with my family and loved ones. This is the top three country that I want to travel Japan, Korea and Netherlands. Also I want to have a type of business of skincare products, Restover, and more opportunities that will offer to me. After settling all my dream business and jobs and goal in my life, of course I want to marry love of my life and build a strong I know I dream together. too much but nothing will be lost if I try and dream high. And also I will never forget God while I am the process of success and even I get the success God is always within my soul and my heart. Without him there is no need that we am very blessed. Bible verse of the date song 918 for the needy shall not always be forgotten and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Everyone, I am Marinel I. Morete and I am here to share my bucket list of the goals I want to achieve in life. The first one is to graduate in college with a degree or course that I want which is education because I want to teach young minds not only the lessons that they need to learn but also the values in life. Then the next one is to help my parents with the finances to support um, my two younger siblings with their education and it will be followed by traveling the Philippines to see its beauty and if I have enough money I will also travel the world and the next one is to invest in building a house my own house for me if I were to settle down soon the next one is to find a partner in life to settle down to have precious children that I will cherish for the rest of my life and the last one is continue serving the Lord with all the ability that I have even if I grow up I will continue with, with this passion of serving Him with all the best of I can again I am Marinel I. Marietta from 12 Thank you for lending your ears in listening to my bucket list. Thank you very much. And now, let us proceed to this last segment of this lesson. And that is the end point of life. Physical life is given an origin, meaning, and purpose because it has an end. Physical death is a state that all humans will encounter at the end. Many people are afraid of dying because it is the final, irreversible state of reality that leads to another path or journey. Since people desire consciousness, memory, personhood, and love to be experienced consciously, the unconscious state of death becomes a fearful fate. What concerns people more about life is that death may come unexpectedly. Some people die young. Because of this, people tend to choose to achieve their goals as soon as possible to ensure that they do not miss out on life before death. Do you know the meaning and purpose of your life? Here is a one-fifth 
that I can give you. Explore! The quality of life may play a significant role in the life experience of people. It is said that those who have poorer quality of lives may be expected to die relatively younger than those who can live life satisfactorily. Despite of life differences in the condition of life, all people are capable of creating goals for their lives. Perhaps we have met the lesson objectives for today's lesson. And to check your understanding, let's have to play a quiz. I'll be sending you the link for that game. Congratulations to all the winners! We have come now to the conclusion of this subject introduction to the philosophy of human person. I hope that you learned a lot from this. Always remember that education is our passport for the future and for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. This has been your friendly learning buddy, Moise Steve Francis saying, Stay at home and keep safe always. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.